Hours after the U.S. sprang into action to provide assistance to the government of Japan, 26 Marines from Camp Pendleton boarded a plane headed straight for the northern edge of the country. Their job, to augment the Joint Forces Land Component Command by serving as the Seabird Assessment, Consequence and Management Team. Since their arrival, they have been tasked with a variety of missions to help ensure safety of both civilian and military personnel in the area. So we're down here supporting the bases, um, Sandai, uh, Tsugu, and here in Yokota, trying to get some uh, monitor survey to make sure that the base itself is not uh, contaminated with radiation. We're able to get here, get fast, and know what's going on, and get in there and help the people. These Marines help mitigate the threat here in Yokota by checking for possible radiation around the base. Every two hours, these Marines walk what they call the Green Mile, checking for radiation. However, according to Gunnery Sergeant Lopez, there's nothing for Yakota residents to worry about. We've been having an assessment team out here conducting a survey for the last five days, and we can safely tell the residents of uh, Yakota that there's nothing out here for them to worry about. Gunnery Sergeant J.L. Wright, Yakota, Japan.